The Danish military spotted two Iranian warships consisting of a destroyer and a large support ship sailing through the Baltic Sea. The two Iranian warships are believed to be heading to Russia for a military parade in the coming days. The Danish Ministry of Defense posted online photos from the Royal Danish Air Force showing a newly built Iranian Sahan destroyer and the intelligence gathering ship Makran sailing across Denmark's Bornholm Island. Earlier, Iran's state-run Erna News Agency reported that the commander of the Iranian Navy, Admiral Hossein Khanzadi, would join the Russian naval parade in St. Petersburg after receiving an invitation from the Russian defense minister. The two warships left Iran's Bandar Abbas port in May. Images from Maxer Technologies dated April 28 appear to show seven Iranian fast attack ships usually associated with the Revolutionary Guards on the deck of the Makran. The fast attack boat at Makran is the type the Revolutionary Guards use in its tense encounters with U.S. warships in the Arabian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz. The Politico website first reported in late May, citing anonymous officials, that the Iranian warship's final destination might be Venezuela. However, it appears that the ships instead went around the African Cape of Good Hope and continued north on an unusually long voyage by the Iranian Navy. Russia's National Defense Control Center NDCC, said Russia's Baltic Sea Fleet was monitoring the movements of the U.S. Navy-guided missile destroyer USS Ross, which entered the Baltic Sea on Sunday. Baltic Sea Fleet forces and resources continue to track the movement of the U.S. Navy-guided missile destroyer, missile defense system, USS Ross entering the Baltic Sea. On September 7, a number of North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, warships led by the USS Ross entered the Barents Sea. Russia's northern fleet is tracking the movements of the NATO warship. Earlier, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said warships of the Navy of non-coastal countries were almost constantly in the Black Sea. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg previously said the alliance views the Black Sea as a strategic area and intends to increase its presence there.